Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix if your settings app won't open in your Windows machine. Now, there, are, there would be a couple of instances where you're trying to open the settings app by doing a right click and then clicking on settings. Nothing would happen or if you press Windows and I, the settings app would not open. Now, there are a couple of steps which you could try to get this issue resolved. Now, the first step or the basic step to resolve this issue is to go ahead and restart your computer because restarting your computer would solve a lot of glitches in your computer. Once you restart your computer, wait for the computer to completely boot and until you see the icons on the desktop. Once you have all the icons and once the computer has been completely rebooted, try to open the settings app and check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next step. Now, the next step to resolve this issue is to repair or reset the settings app on your computer. To do this, you will have to go to the search and type settings in the search. Once you see the best match for the settings, you can do a right click and then click on app settings. Once you click on app settings, you may scroll down a bit and then click on terminate. And then open the settings tab again by going to search and type settings. Do a right click again and then click on app settings. Once you have these settings open, scroll down a bit. Now you will go ahead and reset your settings app. First, you will go ahead and click on repair. Wait until the repair is complete. Once this is done, you may go ahead and click on reset and then click on reset again. Restart your computer and then check if you are able to open the settings app. In case if you are able to open the settings app, well and good, you don't need to try the next step. Now the next method is to go ahead and re-register the settings app via PowerShell. To do this, you will have to open Windows PowerShell. So you can go to the search window or you can go to the search option and type Windows PowerShell. You will see the best match. Click on Windows PowerShell, do a right click and then click on run as administrator. In case if you're getting a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Once you have the PowerShell window open, you will have to copy the command from the video description. Do a right click that should paste the command what you copied from the video description. Once you have this command, you may go ahead and hit enter. You will have to wait until this command has been successfully executed. You may close this window, restart your computer and then check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next step. Now the next method is to go ahead and check and install the Windows update on the computer. To do this, you can do a right click on the start button and then click on settings. Once you're on the settings, you may go ahead and click on Windows Update and then on the right hand side, click on the check for the updates option. This will go ahead and check if there are any possible updates available for the computer. In case if there are any updates to be installed on the computer, go ahead and install those updates. Close this window, restart your computer and then check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next step. I mean, in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem, the next step is to go ahead and perform the in-place upgrade. To do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on settings. Once you're on these settings, you may go ahead and click on Windows Update and then on the right hand side, you may go ahead and click on Advanced Option. Once you're on the advanced option, click on recovery and then choose the option which says reset this PC. Click on reset. You will get a prompt to choose an option. Keep my files, remove everything. You may go ahead and click on keep my files. The next window will prompt you to how would you like to reinstall your windows? So basically what you're trying to do here is you're trying to repair your windows using an in-place upgrade. Now, if you're choosing cloud download, make sure your computer is connected to the internet because it would need the internet to download about four gigs of data. In case if you have already downloaded the ISO image, you may go ahead and click on local reinstall. 
my recommendation is to go ahead with the cloud download make sure you have your internet connected choose the option and then follow the step-by-step -step instruction you have followed the instruction your computer might boot a couple of times wait until the computer is restarted completely once your computer is restarted you should be able to open the settings app on the computer so all this step should definitely resolve this issue in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem i would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that i can come up with the possible solution i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day